your account. <laughs> yeah, that, that's salt. That's salt, man. That is salt. Pretty genius if you ask me. I think but, it is. But anyway, Terry's here. I didn't expect him to go DD in this matchup. This is probably the best character he could go versus 8 Man's Rob. But uh, here he is, 8 Man, in yet another top 8 MSM. I made a I made a poll on Twitter asking if Ape Man would get top three at yet another MSM for the third, fourth week in a row? I don't know. Yeah, fourth week in a row, Ape Man definitely I think he's the only player to have won three MSM online. Not in a row, but just win three MSM online. So he should have been a diff a winner a different winner every time. So we'll yeah. see man. We'll definitely see. Fox is no joke with this Terry, though. Already see the, the amount of pain that he's putting 8 Bitmen in right now. Rob is just so, so huge. Oh! Speaking of being huge, yeah. Rising Tackle definitely going to be big enough to actually hit Rob and take care of the stock here. This is going to be an ultimate test of how much 8 Bitmen can definitely choose between playing mid range and then playing close range, close quarters combat there. Finally gets that down throw up there. Usually the Rob, the Rob classic combo, but it's really important to understand when you have to play in mid-range and then go in for pressure, just because if you go in wrong, definitely Terry can turn things around with you with his auto turnarounds, his down tilts, and his ability to use go meter. Which yeah. is not even a meter, it's just, a, just something that's active. And think about meter yeah. without, think about Pac-Man KO punch without being a meter, it's just always there. Little Mac KO punch, you mean? Yeah, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, oh man, Avid Man wasn't ready for the roll in Terry buttons, which you actually always have to be ready for. <laughs> oh, what a cross up with forward air, and then he gets the grab and then down throw oh. up air. Oh, clean play from Avid Man, using forward air to cross up too, but also the fact that like I think Fox definitely give a lot of respect to the gyro. There's a laser there, calls out the landing. Not enough, though. Once again, using Gyro to kind of hold himself back in his place. Crazy thing about Gyro, man. We've talked about it so many times, Rise. It is the neutral winner. <laughs> gyro to laser. That's good. Ape Man with a lot of good stage control here. He doesn't have to overextend himself. I talked about it. You kind of have to pick and choose when you want to play Zoner and more oh. close quarters combat. But with the final hit of Power Duck after Ape Man rolls. Going to take care of that stock. Ape Man with a 66% oh, get out of here. lead. And the jet <laughs> boosts to finish it off. You're going low against me? Don't you see how big this downer is? Yep. Get him out of here. Get him out of here indeed. Downer is super, super strong. Goes to the ledge, but not only that, a lot of actor frames, man. I think a lot of Rob's aerial is just super actor frames for sure. Ape Man taking game one, well on his way to uh, meeting Stride's prediction of getting top three uh, at MSM Online. Yeah, I wish I kept the pull. I'm sorry, Strides. It's okay. I should have just checked the bracket myself anyway. Sorry, did you have a PSP? Did you ever have a PSP? Yeah, I had one when I was a freshman in high school. I'm a, you know how to say this, man? The PSP was the best <laughs> Nintendo handheld I've ever had. Because you could just hack it and play every like Nintendo game ever. Yeah, I, I didn't think I had a, I didn't personally have a modding one myself, but my friends did, so I would always play with his. Everybody I knew had one, and like, I knew like so many friends who had like movies. Yeah, it was weird, like, it was weird going to school and seeing someone playing like Pokemon on a PSP or watching movies and like all this stuff. Yeah, PSP, PSP was super actually, was It was really cool. Like, yeah, it's actually really good, but it's just like, it's a Sony, it's a Sony portable console and not a Nintendo one, so it never took off. And the, the, the rough thing about the PSP was like, it was at the time when there was the PS3, and the PS3 wasn't so hot.
down to the forward here, down to once again oh. on the platform for the stage control and the ledge. Opportunity here, down uh -oh. smash, calling out Fox. Power Dog with the cross up here. Ape Man definitely looking back to establish that stage control. Uh, Thank you okay. so much, Gerald Ohan, for the subscription with the Prime sub, man. Anyways. Yeah, thanks for the sub, dude. If you're uh, interested in the sub only tournament coming up on the 31st, be sure to register at a uh, 2GGC. Oh, 2GGNC. Smash.gg slash 2GGNC to be entered in that. Oh, watch out. Watch out for the go. I, I think Ape Man's recognizing that right here. He doesn't want to take too many risks. Yeah. Set the gyro up at the ledge. Oh my goodness. The gyro set everything up perfectly for that down there. Ape Man's so consistent at hitting that. Oh, nice. I like the spot dodge down smash to get away from the shield pressure of Terry. He already knows it only takes one poke. can lead to the stock. Nice, he's using that laser, but unfortunately not unable to hit Terry. Good man, still coming back on stage. Using neutral, but rising oh. tackle is not enough here. 144. Ape man with the neutral air here and the gyro on the stage. That's going to be enough. Yep. Jab, jab, power drunk. The classic Terry combo. Got some decent percent from Fox. Up tilt. Nice. Oh. Another excellent upper here. Stage control. I like Ape Man is hunting for this man. Go meter activated. Down smash to cover the spot dodge with Gyro to hold the stage. No oh, after Rob Gyro. After Wolf. No Gyro for Rob here. 134. Go is activated here. Ape Man has to play his cards carefully here. This is going to be a down throw. Possibly the upper. A little bit too oh, early. Oh, nice. Execution. He delayed it this time because Ape Man was just killing with that. He wants to poke? Oh, cuts the back roll out. I wonder if he wants to get this stock without relying on a. Oh. Oh, that was so greedy. Never mind. I was going to say, I wonder if he wants to stock without relying on Go and then save it for the next stock, but that really, really poorly placed down there. I don't know, Fox is looking really desperate for the kill right now. He's like just throwing out smash attacks, rolling in. Nice. Using that using that full okay. opportunity with the up B, but unfortunately it's gonna be it here. Fox looking for an opportunity to come in with an aerial. No jab confirmed after that forward air. Like I said, <sighs> Ape Man kinda stuck in the close quarters here at the ledge. Nice. Using the outer shield here to kind of buy himself back on the stage here. Fox at the ledge. He's got to pick and choose the right opportunity here because unfortunately, yeah, Ape Man has been calling him out every single time. Perfect opportunity to watch out how your tech situation plays through. Oh, he desperately wants to douse him into that gyro to get a good setup, but he's barely avoiding it. Still, though, Ape Man's in a really good spot. As long as he can avoid dying or some ridiculous ghost shenanigans, he, he should have this game in the bag, I would say. Yeah. Oh, nice catch. Oh, no, wow, nice. we're living though. I forgot how heavy Terry is. Still in a bad spot though. What are we gonna do about the gyro? Okay, nice timing on the neutral get up. Yeah, oh, okay, wait. Here. Yeah, this is scary now. This is definitely scary. Any man's game. Oh, I think he sniped the jump. He gets the, the, ledge. the ledge. Oh my goodness, they're both holding shield. Uh, last hit of oh, not nope. enough. Good no shield poke. He, he rolls back too because he doesn't want to get hit by the power dunk. Wow, wow. the bottom hit of Nair. Dang, just the raw Nair gonna kill Terry of all characters? We'll take it though. <sighs> we talked about it, man. Nair with the active frames. Nair with all the right. big hitbox. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Smart Guy in the chat. Um, when I say save it for the next stock, I mean you start your, you, they start fighting you at zero, while you can rack up like a forty percent combo to potentially kill earlier, since you have the meter on the next stock. I thought that was obvious, but I probably should have said it in a more clear way. Or unless you're trolling, which in which case you got me. Funny Twitch chat troll guy.
anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. 8-Bit Man. 8-Bit Man's really good in this matchup. I don't know. He's really good at edge guarding. He's playing neutrally well. Even, even when he does get comboed, like he's not getting comboed to get killed very often. I don't know. I wonder. I wonder if he's thinking of uh, switching characters. Sorry to everybody, the little bit of the way here is that Smash GG had an issue and it's making people play some best of threes instead of best of fives. So I'm just letting Ape Man and Fox know like, hey, it's a best of five. There's one more match, but Smash GG requires that you report your score either way. Some small dif technical difficulties on the Smash GG. It's very overrated. Isn't Terry rated pretty high? I was gonna Usually. say I don't I don't think Terry is overrated. I think the character is <laughs> pretty good. Overrated is a really weird statement to say about Terry. Like if if the consensus was that Terry is like top tier or like top ten, then you could say he's overrated. But most people just say he's high tier. Yeah, I was gonna say most people will agree that Terry high tier. I don't think they will say he's top tier. Unless you think he's mid tier, then all right. Oh, he's staying Terry. Okay. I think I kicked this Excuse out. Me? Yeah, wow. We can't even watch the match. Well, just pull up Baby Man's stream since he's streaming. Ah, uh, yeah. Thank you, Nintendo. We appreciate this service that we have to pay for. Very good. Very great stuff. Incredible. Alright, we can see the match now. And a bit man's face. Well, he's actually losing pretty bad at this point. Wow, he actually went for a power dunk spike. This guy is crazy. I can see I can see the stress coming in from Abin Man already. But I'm not I'm not gonna sleep on Abin Man. I I've seen him win these.
Okay. I thought he was going to get that downer again. Terry's up B is really deceptive. It looks like it shouldn't reach, but it, yeah, it's a pretty good magnet. Yeah, it just doesn't auto snap the ledge, so it's super susceptible to being edge guarded. Oh, well, there it is. There it is. There it is. This is this is the start of the AV Man comeback. <laughs> He's like, just needs to get him off stage at once. Nah, I don't think Fox is gonna let it happen though. Power dunk, yeah, it hit it. Not enough though. Town City is a big blast zone. Ape Man though, 105, he's gotta play cautious. <sighs> Yo, he just did it again? Oh, I think his power dunk's a little bit still right now. Yeah. He's been going for it too much. Nice, neutral air. Catches up the aerial here. Oh, oh, this is scary. Oh, that was unsafe. No, <gasps> no. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Unfortunate. <laughs> Oh my god. Is that really how you lose? Damn. <laughs> uh, hey man. Eventually he was going to get the power dunk spike, right? This is crazy. It wasn't enough. Terry survived and he just came back, power dunked him, and that was it, man. That was, that's a lot of pain. <laughs> that's crazy. I actually thought he was just gonna uh, four-air him again after he did the side B. Alright, well that's one way to stay in the set. Even outside of like that crazy last stock he got, like, he was still playing really well in that whole game. He had like a three stock to one lead at some point. Yeah, I think Terry's power dunk spike is one of the most hilarious spikes you can get in this game. It's like so, so over the top and exaggerated that <laughs> it's like so funny. He did almost die at like 40% though from like a four throw side B in the blast zone. So I guess it's, I guess it's fair. Alright, for real this time. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Game four. Fox finally got a game off of Ape Man. With that insane power dunk spike. Let's see if he can uh run off that momentum. Bring this to a game five, or is Ape Man gonna adapt and move on in the rest of this tournament? In his uh, consistent fashion, as he tends to do at yeah. MSM. Oh my god. Cool. Wait. Can my man play? No, no he, can. he can't. Can't. Can't, can't. He's, he's dead, right? No, he saved his jump. Oh, and Ava Man choked the edge guard. We'll take it. All right. Fox has a second chance at life. He has to go active. Some some crazy things can happen. That's all I'm going to say. Some crazy things can happen here, but Ava Man not going to let the recovery onto the stage Ooh. as easy as possible here. Laser, yeah, this forces Fox to use a jump. Almost catches it though. Oh, almost. Ooh, that was scary. That was actually really scary. 
Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah. Girl? Yeah. yeah. The, the platform extension there. Some really good stage control coming out from AB Man. He's always making the gyro so threatening. It's such a strong tool to use in the neutral. That's honestly one of like Rob's strongest tools in the neutral, but it's also one of the strongest tools in the neutral in general. That's the back throw. Nice. He wanted the, the extension with the gyro. Not enough though, but still good to go for it. Yeah, there's some really good snipes as well with the laser too. Even that's just so difficult to hit at this point. He's doing a good job too, because any other any, any oh. wrong move here, and Terry can't confirm like another jab to power dog. Oh. oh, okay. The burn right, knuckles get some. Yeah, he can confirm down to the burn knuckle. Oh, for the roll. oh, he... <gasps> oh, the shield. That shield was, good was so too. tiny, but we're living. And you can tell that he even angled it too, because he was looking to see if he can angle it to avoid getting hit or shield. Oh. Rough trade. One thirty nine here on Fox. Oh man, he went for the up smash with invincibility. Well, that was a really good gyro catch. Oh my god, he rolled through the up smash, but it doesn't matter. We're swinging every single up smash until it hits. Eventually, you're gonna jump into this. That's what Aby Man's thinking. That's why he's one stock away from winning this set. Let's see if Fox can bring some type of comeback, because Aby Man, not very often that he drops a lead, yeah. especially one like this. No, it's good too. You can see he tossed all those projectiles and then went for an aerial, just particularly understanding that, okay, you, what's the next step here for Fox? Go for an aerial, go for power dunk. And you can tell that's what Ape Man is looking to do, is force Fox out of situations you would normally do yourself, and then definitely oh. counter him for it. Good, good. Oh, yeah, that was some yeah, decent yeah. chill pressure, but Ape Man got out of there. He recognized it wasn't true block string to so exactly. get back to the stage safely. Oh, another up smash. Get out of my face. This time with the gyro assist as well. Ape Man completely dismantling Fox in that game. I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, that I think I think that power dunk spike 